Hey guys, I hope you're having a good day. I thought today we would talk about what witches have stolen from you. Where is your marriage ring? Where is your fortune? Where is your career? It is somewhere in the hands of a witch. Our Father's Word declares that if we identify the witch, then so must they return times sevenfold. I want you guys to remind to remember that law because that law is very important and what we're talking about right now. Now, I know you guys have heard me speak about, you know, this is the earth realm and then the spirit realm above us. And when you're dreaming, it's really the spirit realm. Well, also in the spirit realm, that's where a lot of witchcraft is happening. That's where a lot of witches do their meetings. And that's where the devil is like, okay, every human being that's serving me in this world, let's meet at this one place tonight and talk about destruction. I mean, it, 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 it's happening in the spirit realm, right? And it always comes down to laws and agreement. So when we're talking about witches that have stolen from you, guys, these are people that could be family members. Uh, they could have been friends when you were growing up. They could be people you work with. Um, you know, especially when you go to these psychics and mediums and tarot card readers and palm readers. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, I'll read your palm for you for $20. I'll talk to my familiar spirit. You know, we'll say a bunch of different stuff that doesn't matter, but it'll make you feel good. And then while I'm giving you this crappy reading, I'm going to steal stars from your hand. And there goes a bunch of your fortune, but you'll never know because you don't know the laws that are operating in this world. I'm telling you guys, it's always through our ignorance that these things are getting us, right? So even, <clears throat> like you have to understand that even in like jobs, right? The, the, there are good people in every job. You know, some people be like, oh, the government is all bad. The FBI is all bad. No, that's not true. There are many good people in those positions and there are the bad apples in those positions as well. So the devil has people everywhere, government, doctors, nurses, teachers, your babysitters. I mean, he has people set up and planted, right? So your whole life is basically a setup from the devil. So he'll have people strategically put in your family, right? So you got family members that are like, I am so jealous of that person. That person has too much and I should have that. that. That's the mentality of these witches, right? So they know that if they go to the spirit realm and take something from you that you don't know is being taken, they, they know you won't even know. So they'll be up there, you know, taking your fortune, taking your marriage ring, and, and you're wondering why you're broke all the time. You're wondering why you've never been married, not even close. You're wondering why when you feel these things inside, like, why God does it seem like I should be further in my life, but yet my career is always failing. That's because somebody has stolen your career. I'm telling you guys, and they'll get you to agree upon it, okay? And a lot of times, you won't even know what's happening. Like if you go to a psychic or a tarot card reader or palm reader or diviner or whatever, you're, you're basically coming into agreement with every spirit that's on them. And by law, since you've come in contact with them, you're agreeing to what they're saying. They could be doing the stuff to your little palms, to your little things. You're not even knowing it, but you've agreed to show up at that psychic. You've agreed, yes, that reading sounds great. You know, the, the psychic told me a bunch of different stuff that how would that psychic know unless they were talking to, you know, my Uncle Poppy. So they told me what Uncle Poppy said. Poppy is now happy and, and, and does well in heaven and, and pops in all the time and checks in on me. He even knew about, you know, what happened last week at work. No, that ain't Uncle Poppy. That's a familiar spirit operating on those psychics, those tarot card readers, those diviners. They are witches. Even if they're like a blind witch to where they... they they're purposely like, 
okay, I'm not operating with the devil. You know, I, I talk to my spirit guides. No, no, Brad, you're talking to your familiar spirits. And even though you're not there doing sacrifices to the devil, you are a witch. And if you die while you're still being a psychic and a palm reader and a tarot card reader and a medium and talking to all these spirits, that is iniquity. And you will end up somewhere you don't want to go. Okay, so I want to tell you guys a lot of times when you go to these places... Now, not all of them are going to be stealing from you. Some of them are like ignorant witches. They know like, you know, the outlayer of it. And they got their little, you know, spirit guide partner helping them along the way. Oh, no, I talk to angels. No, brah, no. You are talking to your familiar spirit. You are breaking the law of God. So some, you know, I'm not trying to say that every one of these psychics and tarot card readers are going to be up there stealing from you, but that is a hot spot for where things get taken from you, okay? Another hot spot is doctors and nurses. Be careful who is touching your kids, okay? Like if you're like, oh, well, I'm going to go to this hospital and, and give birth to this kid, you need to be praying over the hands Putting the, the blood of Jesus over those doctors, those hand, the hands, everybody touching that kid. Because if you get a witch who happens to be a nurse who is all sweet and gentle, because I'm telling you guys, these witches, they're not, if you see them in the spirit realm, they look like a hack. I mean, straight up from a fairy tale looking like a witch, right? But they're masquerading. So here, they're not going to look like, oh, no. Most of them will look like, oh, I am so sweet. I'm just this sweet nurse that is so kind and no one would ever suspect that I serve the devil. You know, they know that if they take things from, you know, if that kid has a ton of stars, a, a ton of, of blessings coming to them, they're like, oh, well, that's great. Why don't we take this blessing and this star and this fortune and we can either use those for ourselves or we can sell them to other morons and then they can use them as they're stolen from this little child. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you guys, right? Or let's say you're like a kid and you got a friend who is like your, your little homie, right? And everything seems cool. You know, she seems so sweet and she gets along with everybody. And I'm telling you, most witches are going to be the ones you don't expect. Okay, they're not going to be walking around with like a witch sign. They're going to be acting so sweet, so nice. Now, some witches, you kind of know they're witches. You know what I mean? It's kind of obvious. But let's say you're, you're hanging out with your homie and you're a kid and, and they're like, oh, you know, my mom wants to take us on a trip to go see one of her family members and she wants me to bring one of my friends with and, and I chose you. So you come with us to this thing and, and we'll go do these things. And, and, and little do you know, you, you think you're just hanging out with your homie and, and going on a little trip with your homie and her mom. Little do you know, the mom is a witch and she's stealing fortunes and opportunities from you and putting it in your little homie because she knows her kid, her daughter, her homie ain't got nothing. She knows her kid ain't got no blessings and got a little selfish me, me, me heart. And they know that, that if they don't start stealing from somebody and putting that in their kids, their kids are going to end up with nothing. So, so now your homie's mom, a witch, is taking your little fortunes, your little career, your little opportunity, and, and you think you're just hanging out with them for the weekend. I'm telling you guys, it's right under your nose. You know, you, you'll get that family member that just hates they're just jealous. They're whatever, you know, and they're not telling everybody, oh, guess what, neighbor up the road? I, I practice witchcraft late at night and, and steal from people. No, they're going to tell you that. You know what I mean? The only people that they'll tell are all their witches that are doing that. They're going to tell you nothing. They're going to act a certain way. They're going to turn their eye a certain way. Most of the time, they're going to be so sweet to you. They, they want to be your best friend. And they're stealing from you guys. And you can tell now, you know, a lot of times we're dealing with stuff that's, okay, spiritual, right? Like if somebody's never been married, there's probably a few different things going on, right? There's a spirit of rejection that's entered, you know, there's a spirit of anti-marriage that's operating there as well. But 
let me tell you this. If you're of age and you have never been married, somebody has stolen that wedding ring from you up in the spirit. And that person who, you know, let's say she was your friend from high school, right? And no guy ever wanted to date her. Let You know, maybe they date her or whatever, but they didn't want to be you know, her boyfriend or, her, you know, they didn't want a relationship and, and the girl never really had a guy liking her that way. And she sees you and you got guys that are like, yeah, I'd like to marry you, girl, girl, I'd like to be your boyfriend. And they're, and this girl hates you, you know, she's like, well, I should have guys looking at me that way and screw her. She shouldn't have those people. So, you know, so they'll go to the, their little, you know, witch doctors, their little, they'll set up their little altars and they'll start taking the stuff from you. They'll take your, your marriage ring. So now they've got people who want to marry them. All of a sudden you're being rejected and you're like, what, what just happened? Okay. And you can tell usually when these things have happened, right? So if it's something that you've been suffering with since birth, right? Since you can remember, you were like, you know, I've always had that. Now that means that it's either a generational curse or that means somebody stole that from you when you were really young. Okay. Or let's say that, you know, you normally have really good luck with guys and guys usually always want to be, you know, your boyfriend and you never have a problem with guys committing to you. And then all of a sudden you had a falling out with this one person and all of a sudden, you know, you're being rejected left and right by, by everybody. That person took your marriage ring. That person is doing voodoo over you, sending you rejection. That person is a witch, is a thief. Okay, let's say you're at work, you know, and you're supposed to get a promotion. You know it. You've been working for it. It's all aligned. And all of a sudden, there's this person at work, this new person, the, the person's been there forever, whoever. And all of a sudden, they get the promotion when they didn't even earn it. They have no business getting it. Uh, but all of a sudden, they're being promoted out of the blue. And there's you like, wait, what happened? That, that was supposed to be my promotion. I worked for that for how long? Witch, a witch, a witch is in your workplace. They have stolen from you. And I'm telling you, a lot of times these witches, they'll get you in your dreams, right? They'll be there in the physical spirit like or the physical earth with their little witchcraft altars. Or they'll go to their little voodoo doctors, their little psychic medium buddies. They'll be there like, oh, let's make sure this person is rejected. Yes. Let's make sure that every star she has, let's put it on us. Yes. They'll, they'll just be there doing their little spells, their little rituals, you know, cutting up an animal or two, shedding some blood on that altar. They will be stealing from you, right? So then now when you go to sleep, they've already done all their little altar work here on earth. So now when you go to sleep, you're dreaming and, and, and you just, you know, see Betty Sue and... And she's playing patty cake with you. And, and it just looks like simple patty cake. And you're like, oh, okay, playing patty cake with patty cake with Betty Sue. No, Betty Sue ain't up there playing patty cake with nobody. Betty Sue is up there stealing from you. Okay, guys, what, I mean, we were all born with stars. Okay, some of us have a lot more stars than the others. You know, we were born with a destiny that God put us here to do. We were born with anointing. We were born with a success and a career and ideas and a voice. And we were, you know, God, he's given us all these things, these, these blessings. And he's like, okay, well, for this person, you know, they're going to have this gift. They're going to have a lot of fortune. They're going to have marriage and children, a ton of success. This is what God's already established for you, right? So he, he's already set it up. But now you got the spirit realm, right? The spirit realm where these little creatures, they're using that, right? They're up in the spirit realm working against you. They're here on earth projecting their little witchcraft curses against you to make it happen in the spirit. Because if it happens in the spirit, then it has to happen here. Okay, so, you know, 
I'm going to break down all different ways that these demons can get in inside, that spirits can get into you and to affect you, generational curses, uh, curses, voodoo, all of it, guys. But today we're talking about witches that are stealing from you. Guys, this is so important. This is so important that you understand, okay? Like these these witches, they're going to be in your life, set up in your life to steal from you. You might even be like, oh, I keep having this dream with this celebrity and we're sitting down and, and we're eating a meal and just talking. And I just must be thinking about that a lot. You know, that celebrity because they're a celebrity. No, that celebrity is a witch. And to stay successful, to stay with their fortune, to keep all those things, they know that they have to get you to agree to give them your stuff. So you'll be up in your dream, up in the spirit realm, at, in this restaurant, you know, in the spirit realm, and it looks like you're just having a conversation with a celebrity. Meanwhile, that celebrity, that little witch is like, oh, well, I know that I have to keep stealing from people in order to keep what I've got because what I have is fake and it's from the devil. And, they, you know, I mean, I'm telling you guys, okay? So when you start challenging these things, this is something that you need to incorporate every day into your prayers until you have been completely made whole again by the power of Jesus Christ. Every day when you're praying, you need to activate the law and declare against these witches. I don't care if they got you to agree on earth and you didn't realize it. I don't care if they got you to agree while you were asleep and you didn't realize it. What happened was an agreement was made and they got your stuff, right? So if you're a kid, a little baby, and you got these evil little doctors or witches that are like, ooh, let's steal from this person because we practice witchcraft. Now, keep in mind, most doctors and nurses are good. I'm talking about the evil ones, right? Now, the parent has authority over that child. That parent has given the authority to these witch, these witch nurses and doctors. They're like, oh, yeah, you give birth to my child. You help me do this. Touch my kid. Touch its head. And... I mean, and, and then they, they have access, right? Or you're off going on some trip with your friend and the mom is a witch, right? I, you try, to, try to break down when these things have happened to you. When did you start suffering from this? Was it always that way? Okay, because a lot of times you can get exactly down to the person that did it, Right. And I always do this when I'm declaring against these witches and you're not sure. Let's say that it's somebody that you're like, okay, this person definitely has kind of a dark heart and we had a falling out. And right after that falling out, all this weird stuff started happening to me and normally they're rejected and all of a sudden it's the opposite, right? So when you're praying against these things, again, we always want to activate the law that God says that if we identify the witch then that which has been taken from us must be returned to us times sevenfold. Okay, so we say, Father, if this, if Betty Sue has stolen from us, and again, we use the word if just because we don't know. We don't want to, you know, be like, oh God, I know for sure that Betty Sue did it. That woman is a witch. I mean, she could be, but what if she's not? You don't want to accuse somebody who isn't a witch. So you don't want to be dealing with this in, in the physical too, where you're going up to people and you're like, look, brah, I know you stole my fortune from me. I am sure of it. No, no. You just take it to God. Okay. You don't need to start gossiping to other people like, oh, I know that they're a witch. Oh, I know. No, 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 no. Because now you're breaking laws. Mm -mm -mm. Don't do it. Take it to God. And you say to God, if, if, because if that person hasn't stolen anything from you, then it won't even apply to them anyways. Now, if they, if they have stolen from you, then yes, absolutely, 100%, it will apply to them. So you say, Father, if Betty Sue has stolen anything from me, then I claim by faith that that which has been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. Father, if, uh, you know, Peter Pumpkin Eater has stolen anything from me. If he has stolen anything from me, 
Then, Father, I claim by faith that that which has been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. So you're going to go down this list of kind of possible suspects, right? And all of your possible suspects, you always want to use the word if. Father, if this person has stolen from me, then they are a witch. And that which has been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. Right? So you'll go through this whole list of possible suspects <clears throat> using the word if, because if they're not, then it, it's not going to apply to them. Right? So if they have stolen from me, then they are a witch. And that which has been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. So now you've went through all your possible suspects, right? So now you need to go through the generalized list. Father, any witch, wizard, warlock, agent, assassin of the devil, any evil practitioner, tarot card reader, palm reader, psychic diviner, any of them, Father, that have ever stolen anything from me, Father, I declare that they are thieves and tonight, that which has been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. You know, Father, any witches in my family that have stolen from me, Father, I declare that they are thieves. And tonight, that which has been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. Father, if anybody that I've dated has stolen from me. Father, if anybody I've worked with has stolen from me. Father, if anyone, I, I, my neighbors, my my friends, if they, if they have stolen from me, then they are thieves. And by law, that which has been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. So you're going to spend, you know, a good 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes going through your possible suspects. Father, if any nurse or doctor has ever stolen anything, right? right? You're going through all the lists of possible suspects. Then you're going to go through your generalized list. You know, any witch, Father, any witches in the family that have stolen from me, any witches in my friendships that have stolen from me, any acquaintances that have stolen from me. Father, anybody who has stolen from me that I've met or not met on earth. Again, you might have just seen them up in the spirit room as they're stealing from you. You might not have even known them here on earth. So you want to get your possible suspects out and then you want to get your list of generalizing family members work. You list it. If, Father, any of my family members have stolen from me, then they are thieves. And tonight, that which has been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. So you need to go through each one and speak it, back it by law. And it's going to be a little redundant. You know what I mean? But but you got to do it legally and, and you got to handle this, right? So you're going through all of your suspects, right? And you're, you're saying, you're backing it up with another law. Saying, Father, I was given dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowls of the air, and over all of this earth. I have dominion. And with my dominion, with my mouth, I declare your law, which declares that if I identify the thief, so must they return times sevenfold. So you've went through your list of possible suspects, generalized. I mean, everything you can think of and in between. And you've spoken it, Father. If they are thieves, then that which has been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. Okay? So now we've got that. Now you want to come back in, right? <clears throat> and you want to say, Father, I loose into the earth, into the heavens, and into the waters, your legions of warring angels and hosts from the highest of heavens to be loosed into this earth, into the heavens, and into the waters, be put on assignment to act on my behalf and to gather up everything that the enemy has taken from me, Father. Okay? Because his word declares he has given his angels charge over us. So now, you know, you want to activate the angels, right? But before we activate the angels... Now we're going to tell the angels all that must be returned to us, okay? So we've loosed the angels, put them on assignment. Now we're going to tell them what the assignment is, okay? Father, any of these thieves, because you've already listed them. You already went through each of them, listed them, spoke it with your mouth. If any of these thieves have taken and stolen my stars, I declare that they are thieves. And tonight, the stars that have been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. Father, if any of these, any of these thieves 
that have taken my destiny, my calling. Father, I declare that they are thieves. And tonight, my calling, my destiny, it must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. Father, any one of these thieves that have taken my marriage ring, Father, I declare that they are a thief. And tonight, my marriage ring must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. So you go through that list. Father, any of these thieves that have taken my fortune, I declare that they are thieves because you are backing it up with law, backing it up, back, even if you feel like, wow, this is so redundant. I keep saying it. Yes, you are keep saying it, but you're effectively saying it because you're backing it up with law. So Father, if any of these thieves have stolen my fortune, I declare that they are thieves. And tonight, that which has been taken from me must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. My fortune must be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. So you go through that list, your, your voice, your confidence, your career, your success, your opportunities, your relationships, your friendships. What have they stolen from you? Call it out. Father, any of these thieves that have taken any, you know, of my purity, any of my opportunities. Father, I declare that they are thieves. And tonight, all of my opportunity, all of my purity, it must be returned to me tonight. Time sevenfold, for it is written, for it is law. That if I identify the thief, then so must they return time sevenfold. So we went through all the list, right? And then no, we just back it up again with the law. Again, that seems redundant. Father, if we identify the thief, then so must they return times sevenfold. We're going to come and back it up again. Father, your word declares he that is in me is greater than he that is in this world. Father, your word declares that those that have dug a ditch for me to fall into, they will fall into that ditch. Your word declares I was given power to tread over scorpions and serpents and all the powers of the enemy. Okay, so this is what we're speaking. We're, we're claiming it. We're activating the law and we're calling it back. And by the time you get through, you know, listing off your possible suspects, listing off the general suspects, and then you're going to be specifically calling all the things that were taken from you, whatever it is you're suffering from. If the enemy's stolen your youth, then they are a thief. And the youth that has been taken from you must be returned to you tonight times sevenfold. You list it all off. List it all off. And now you've loosed your father's angels to be put on assignment and loosed into the earth. For father, your word declares that whatsoever I shall loose into this earth is loosed into the heavens. While I loose your legions of warring angels and hosts from the highest of heavens to be loosed into the earth and into the heavens to be put on assignment. To gather up all that has been taken from me and let it be returned to me tonight times sevenfold. For it is written, for it is law, for your word declares to remind you of your law. For your word declares to rely on you for all things. Father, I am relying on you tonight. I am relying on your angels to gather it all up so that it is returned to me so that I am made whole by the power of Jesus Christ. Right? So, so that's what you got to do every night. And you'll start noticing the differences. I'm telling you, the longer you pray, the quicker it's going to come. Okay? But you need to do these prayers every day until you're made whole again. Okay? And it doesn't mean that once you've pulled everything back, they're not going to try stealing from you again. Yeah, they'll, they'll probably try stealing from you again. And you'll understand what they're doing. You'll understand, hmm... I have power to tread over scorpions and serpents and all the powers of the enemy. So am I going to let a witch come and steal from me? Oh, no, 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 I am not. No, 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 I am not. You know what I'm trying to say? And you, you loose upon those witches the judgment of God. I, I loose upon every one of those witches that have stolen from me the judgment of God. Let them reap what they have sown. Let every ditch they have dug for me, let them fall into that ditch. Until they repent, they will drink double from the cup that they had intended for me. Oh, yeah. You need to teach these witches lessons, okay? Because as witches, they're not going to learn about God unless they see the power of God. Because they're operating in the power of darkness. And they're like, oh, in the power of darkness... I get to steal from people and they don't know. So because they don't know, I'm doing it and I'm cool. 
No, brah, you're a fool who is bound to go to hell. So a lot of times when you send back what these witches have sent to you, I'm telling you, it's a good thing. They need spankings. They need those spankings. Let them be judged here on earth so that they have time to repent, so that their souls can change. If they don't learn on earth, they're going to be judged down there. There ain't going to be no more repentance for them. Okay, so these witches, they need good kicks to the pants. They need to be spanked. All right, so I'm going to do more videos about, you know, these witches stealing from us. But God, guys, I want you to understand that it is very simple to shut it down. It, it's a matter of doing it every day, standing in the law every day, declaring with your mouth every day, stand on it. Father, I call it back. That which has been taken from me, I call it back times sevenfold. For it is written, for it is law. And I know the law. And I know that God says that if God can be for me, who can be against me? So I'm sorry, little witches. It's time for you guys to get kicked in the pants. And it's time for everybody else who is suffering from their wickedness to get back that which has been taken from you. It's time to stop letting the darkness push us around. We're the ones with the power. They're affecting us because of our ignorance. Okay, so stand on it. Do it every day. And I'm telling you guys that if you've got a lot of problems going on in your life, if stuff is really rocky, you want to try to pray at least two hours a day. Okay, an hour minimum, but try to do at least two and be consistent and consistently pray those praise and consistently be calling back that which has been taken from you every day until it returns. And you'll see stuff shifting. You'll be like, oh, all of a sudden, blessings are coming back to me. Yeah, because you are calling it back by law. Okay, guys, it is through our ignorance that these things are stealing from us. It's through our ignorance that they're running amok over our lives. Okay, so stand on it, activate the law, and get back everything that has been taken from you because God has a purpose for you and God needs you to be who he needs you to be. There's a reason you're here. Okay, the closer we find out who we are, the closer we get to his mission. Okay, so get back that which has been taken from you times sevenfold. That means not only are you going to get back what they took, oh, you're going to get seven times more back. Okay? So I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.